It's been five years now since I started my real estate investing journey. And my gosh, the crazy growth that has happened since I got into this business. I remember looking back in 2018, having negative money in my bank account, saying this will never happen again. This will never happen again. My wife, just knowing that I was trying my best to make ends meet. Everybody in my family wondered, what is he doing? Like, why didn't he just go back to school or just get a good job? I remember my dad told me I should be a police officer. Crazy. Even when no one else believed, or even sometimes it was hard for me to believe. I was like, I was going to make it happen. But it wasn't until I had to get out of my own way that I realized that there's work that needs to get done. Like most people, I feel like we feel like maybe it's just me or you guys too. It's felt like I was special. I was going to do something with my life. I wrote a check for myself that I was going to cash like by the time I was 25, like Jim Carrey. It was for a million bucks and I kept it in my bill fold and I was like, yeah, I'm going to be a millionaire. Well, 25 came and went and I was still broke as shit. And by the time I was 27, going on 28, I realized that I couldn't continue to live my life like this. 2018 came and I started learning about a concept called real estate wholesaling. It was written by a guy named Cody Sperber. It was an ebook that I was reading and I was doing this while I was also listening to podcasts. I'm just trying to put it all together, but I was just stuck in the information mode of like, I need to learn all this. I don't want to sound stupid. I don't want to sound dumb on the phones or I understand the concept of buying real estate, but hell, I don't even know what escrow is. But after learning and watching videos and doing all that stuff, I realized that that still wasn't going to get me money. 2019 ticked around and I still had not done a deal. I was in the analysis paralysis and something had to change. Well, that thing that changed was my wife told me she was pregnant and I was like, I can't continue to have negative money in my bank account. All these stories that I had kept telling myself. You know, I'm not a salesperson or that sounds a little too extreme. I'm not going to knock on doors. All that went out the window when she told me we had a baby on the way. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do whatever it takes. And then within three weeks of me doing the stuff that I knew I really needed to do, I got my first deal. Fast forward to where we're at today, literally thousands of deals later, millions of dollars made. It came from work, learned a lot during this journey, been able to build some really cool companies, build a company, had over 700 employees, sold that one at the beginning of 2023 for a seven figure exit. I mean, just money that I could never even imagine when I had negative $8 in my bank account, negative $200 in my bank account, and they're gonna charge me an NSF fee because I don't have money in the account to within a short period of time, literally making millions. I realized, look, I'm not special. I'm not doing anything different than many other people. Just realized that the work needs to get done and I just got obsessive over doing the work. And that's the fun part. The reason why I chose real estate and the reason why I saw this as a great vehicle is because real estate typically ends up being the most expensive thing someone could buy. It's typically the most expensive thing someone's gonna buy in their entire life. So if you can learn how to work with people on buying and selling that thing and you get a little piece of it, good chance that you're gonna be making pretty good money too. I learned a lot in the journey. We now have this office space and I have team members and we have video stuff and we have a whole real estate acquisition business and we've just been doing a lot. In fact, the year 2023 was a breakthrough year for me. I bought over $15 million in real estate. Again, guys, it's 2018. Your boy had no money. I had nothing going for me other than just some dang dreams, aspirations and my wife's credit card. That's it. I just realized that if you want to make it happen, you got to go make it happen. And typically, we already know what we need to do. So I decided that I'm going to be starting this vlog here with you guys, sharing with you what I'm doing on a daily basis, what it looks like to run a company that makes seven figures a year. And hopefully we can continue to grow this thing and get to eight figures or wherever it goes. But most importantly, I want you guys to see that you don't have to sacrifice your morals. You don't have to sacrifice the person that you are in the pursuit of achieving your dreams. Yes, you're going to change and yes, money's going to amplify you, but you don't need to sacrifice your integrity. And it's actually pretty simple. Just a normal guy just doing the work. So this vlog is going to be dedicated to doing the work. This vlog is going to be dedicated to showing you the exact things that I do to do this. I wished I had this when I first started. I wish there was someone that I can look at that were sharing everything that they are doing on a daily basis because I always felt like I was missing something. I can almost guarantee you're probably not missing something other than doing the things you know you probably should do. So this vlog is dedicated to doing the things we know we should do. And I'm gonna be doing this every single day, guys. So I hope you consider subscribing to the channel and I hope you consider coming back here again tomorrow as I share with you what we're doing and what I'm doing.